Good morning. My name is, is Becky and I'm a missionary living here in Kampala in Uganda. I've, I've been here for around two and a half years now, I think it is, living in a, a culture that's pretty different to the one that I grew up with in the UK. There's a, a strange phenomenon that I think everyone feels when they spend a considerable amount of time living in a different country. And it's that you end up not really being quite sure where home is. When I'm in Uganda, if I'm planning a trip to the UK, then, then I talk about going home, going back home to England. There are things and there are people that I miss in the UK when I'm living here in Uganda. But on the other hand, when I'm in the UK, the opposite is true. And I talk about going home to Uganda. I find myself missing things and people from here when I'm there. Both places have become home to me in a way. And yet at the same time, there's a strange divide in your heart that also means that neither of them are really home. I remember having one day, I think I probably wasn't very well and, and I had this strange sense of just wishing I could go home and then feeling a little bit sad because I had no idea what that actually meant. What does it mean? Where is home? It can be easy to feel a little bit like you don't really belong anywhere when you're divided between two places like this. You know, I'm, I'm not Ugandan, clearly, but I'm also not quite as British as I used to be. Aspects of, of Ugandan culture have infiltrated who I am. They've infiltrated my character. On the surface, that could all sound a little bit sad, really. And yet, I found that this divide has made me so much more at home with the concept that nowhere in this world is really my home. And that's as it should be. This world that, that I'm living in right now is just a temporary residence. It's not the final destination. It's not home. This is just the, the temporary, temporary before the eternity begins. An eternity in heaven and on the new earth that the Bible promises. Whether you feel like where you're living right now is really home or not, it's so important to remember that we won't really be home until we're done with this life. And the Bible agrees with that. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14, it says, For this world is not our home. We are looking forward to our everlasting home in heaven. And in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11, this is the, the message translation. It says, friends, this world is not your home. So don't make yourselves cozy in it. This world is not your home. Uganda, the UK, any other country that I find myself living in, none of those places will ever truly be my home. But this can be a tricky concept, I think, to get our heads around because by our very nature, we like to belong. We like to feel comfortable. There's a really nice sensation to that moment of coming home, especially after a, a really hard day or, you know, a, a significant time away from the house that we live in. Even at the end of a a really, really good holiday or a good time away, there's still that, that contentment to be found when you get back to the familiar. You get to, you know, unpack your suitcase, put everything back where it belongs and get to enjoy the comfort of your own bed again. Those sensations are not a bad thing. You know, we don't have to come back home to our houses and say like, no house, I will not give in to your sense of contentment. This is not my home. Stop luring me with this idea of home. That is not what we have to do. It is okay to enjoy the things that we have. There is nothing wrong with that. But not 
at the expense of contemplating a far, 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 far better eternity. So often we get so caught up in this life that we're living right now that we forget that there's more to come. We stop living in light of eternity and we, we only think about what we can see right in front of us. We might even fear what comes next and cling desperately onto this life because we don't want the next stage. We are too much at home here. But as the Apostle Paul said, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Another translation says living means living for Christ and dying is even better. It's even better because we finally get to go home to our proper home, to the home that that we were truly designed for. I love, I love that feeling of coming home here on earth. It's a really nice feeling. So imagine how much more incredible that is going to be when we actually go home, when God himself welcomes us with open arms and, and Jesus excitedly leads us to the place that he has prepared for us. We can eagerly look forward to the place that we know we're headed to home sweet home. Thank you again for joining me for these thoughts from the Bible. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week.